What's up, guys? Looks like we got more Cyrax on kick. This time he's got a show titled Never Give Into Hate. So, let's check it out. I'm sure he won't whine at all. Yo, what the fuck is up, kick? Today, I wanted to do something special for you guys. Following up on what I told you guys last night, I wanted to do something for you guys to show my love and my respect to you guys and show you guys did I give a fuck about y'all, man? And to show my thanks for all you guys doing what you guys have been doing for me, man. I truly appreciate it. But... I wanted to show you guys proof that if you're going through what I went through or going through what I go through, you guys ain't alone. I want this stream to be a healing session for you guys, if you will. I want this to be the biggest group therapy session of your lives where you guys walk away feeling stronger than when you came into this stream. Cause I know like you guys, I deal with my ups and downs. I battle my demons just like you guys. And I want this place to be a safe place for you guys to come, hang out, talk about what's going on, and receive some sort of comfort in knowing that there's someone out there like me that actually cares about you guys, that cares about your well-being, and wants to see you guys do well in whatever it is you guys want to do in life. I want to see you guys be successful. And that healing process starts right now. So what do you guys say? We start the healing. University School of Medicine. How the fuck is everybody doing today, man? Hang on. Let me check the chat lock real quick. That's weird that the chat's fucked. That's seriously weird. Let me go back and check something. Hold on. Uno momento. Okay, yeah, we're good. I just looked and everything's good. But how the fuck is everybody doing today, man? 
You know, you guys showing up and showing support. Every stream like this, man, shows that you guys don't take shit from nobody. And that shows that you guys want to see progress within this community. You guys want to see good shit happen. You guys want to see the bullying end. You guys want to see the hatred end. You guys want to see all this bad stuff that happens to good people be put to a stop. By showing support for me, you're showing support for that. And I appreciate the fuck out of that. Fire away, man. What do you got? As soon as I hit this next song, man, I got you. Hopefully it's one that I know. Because all too many times I've had people make requests for songs that I don't know. But hopefully it's one that I do know. I, I got you on some corn, man. What'd you have in mind? Matter of fact, the first song that I did was corn. That was her song called Start to Healing. Good song too, by the way. Yo, coming on Dungs my shit. I got you. Twisted Transistors is good. Definitely another good one. And that song, Coming Undone, actually does tie in to how a lot of people feel how they come undone over time and they feel like they don't have a way out. So, that's a good observation, man. That's a very good observation in that. Let's do this. Now, I have one question for everyone here. Are you guys ready to take this shit up a notch? <laughs> you guys ready to take this up a notch? This song right here is very personal to me because as I told you guys last night, one of my exes whom I was actually engaged to right before she passed away. Um, this is a song that me and her used to cover all the time. This was one of her favorite songs as well as mine so i want to dedicate this song to not only helping you guys out but to my now past ex-girlfriend lexi who like i said lost her life to a, due to a lot a lot of health issues i think you guys might know this one this is are you a low income american on food second. stamps or medicaid if so you are now out this is Awaken Alive. That's the next song I want to play for you guys. I did mention him briefly. And like you guys want to hear, hear one of his songs last night. This song is by my good friend Vinny. And his band Trapera. This is Machine.
the reason why I chose that song is because, like a lot of you guys, I felt like a machine. I became a slave to the system at one point. With all the trolling and all the bad shit that I went on, I became a slave to that shit for a lot of years. I became a slave to that crap. And now that I'm free, I have no intent on looking back or going back to that dark place that I was in. I have no intent on going back to that whatsoever. <laughs> well, with that being said, guys, I'm going to take a break real quick, let the dog out, and I'll be right back. You guys sit down, hang out, hang out amongst yourselves, and I'll catch you guys here in just a minute, man. Thanks. Do what you just said. Just said. Now I suck know that you get banned every time you show up to this bag. Yeah, every time you show up, dude. Every time you show up, dude. I'm not even gonna respond. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ban you, bro. Which is funny. Now, with that being said, who's ready to take this up a notch? Now, before I start this next song, before I start this next song, man, I have a question for everyone here. How many of you guys have had or know somebody that has dealt with depression or have been on the edge of suicide or unfortunately have taken their life. How many of you guys know somebody that have either committed suicide or how many of you guys have been on the edge of being there just like I have? By show hands, how many of you guys have been there? Because the day that I took or tried to attempt to take my life a second time, one of my friends sent me this song and it, it hit me in a way that it was a song that I needed to hear. And I'm glad that they sent this to me. So this song is going out to all you guys out there that know somebody who's been on the edge, or those of you like me who have been on the edge themselves. This song is called Coming Down.
And if you guys don't like something to this video, I will share it. When I first heard that song, it hit home real fucking hard. Because it made me realize that I don't need to be there. Did I have a choice to get out of that? And I did it. And I'm glad that I made the choice to get out. I'm glad that I made the choice to get away from all that. And because of me making that choice, I'm still here. So if I can do it, so can you. If I can get out of suicide, depression, if I can get out of that shit, I know damn well you guys can too. You just gotta dig deep. You just gotta reach out. A lot of you guys, and a lot of people have this stigma. I felt this way too. A lot of people thought that, and do still think, that reaching out for help is being a coward. There's nothing cowardice about reaching out for help when you fucking need it. It takes a strong, strong person to reach out for help like that. It takes a very strong person to reach out for help. And I did reach out for help. And I'm glad that I did. Because that reaching out for help opened so many doors for me getting back to where I needed to be. So trust me when I say, you guys are not alone in that feeling. I've been there so many fucking times. More times than I can count, I've been there. And as a survivor of suicide myself, I want you guys to know that when you come onto this channel, you're not alone. You have friends, you have people that care. You have a community of people that have got your back, including me. These people and myself, we all care about your well-being. We all want you to be okay. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to hurt. It's okay to feel pain. It's okay to cry and want this shit to just stop. Because I've been there. And trust me when I say, it's not easy. It's not. It's one of the hardest things that you could ever deal with. And unfortunately, far too many people take their own lives as a result. Take a look at me. I got bullied for seven plus years. I still get bullied. And I was almost one of them. I almost took my own life. I almost joined people like Chester and Chris and Scott and so many other people that have taken their lives. I almost joined them. And I'm glad that I didn't. I'm glad that I didn't join them. Because now I get to tell my story. I get to tell the real truth. And show people what it's really like to go through what I go through.
And not only does that apply to regular people, but that also applies to that also applies to our men and women in uniform. And that's why I want to dedicate this version of this song right here to those men and women in uniform. Hey, what's up? It's Seth from Unison. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you the brand new Unison Famous Beatmaker template. I want to dedicate this to all the men and women in uniform out there. Ready to Serve rock. Our country. All of us ready to rock. I want to dedicate this to all men and women in uniform who, unfortunately, never got to make it back home safe. This is Fall Ready Central. to rock. All of us ready to rock. Now, oh, I get asked this quite a bit actually, more often than not. Especially given the wars that are going, over, going on overseas, a lot of people ask me if I had the chance to fight for this country, would I enlist? Would I join the military? And the answer to that is fuck the hell, yes, I would. Because I watched my dad be on deployments during 9 11. I've had friends that have been in the military who lost their lives. Not all of them, but some of them. Some made it back, some didn't. And if it came down to it, and there was a war going on right here in our backyard, you could bet your ass that I'd arm up and I'd be ready to fucking go. I'd be ready to fucking fight and stand shoulder to shoulder with our brothers and sisters and fight. If it came down to it, you can bet your damn ass that I would fight. Just give me a fucking rifle and tell me where the enemy's at. Just point me in the direction of where the enemy's at and let me fire off. I would gladly stand toe to toe against the enemy and fight if it came down to it. Because I know what sacrifice is like. My family had to make sacrifices when my dad was in the military. When my dad was in the army, we had to make sacrifices. Sacrifices that, they would, that we didn't want to make, like moving around base to base, leaving schools, leaving friends, making all kinds of sacrifices every single day for 12 years. And let me tell you right now, you can bet your damn ass that I would fight. Just give me a fucking rifle and tell me where the enemy's at. Just point me in the direction of where the enemy's at and let me fire off. I would gladly stand toe to toe against the enemy and fight if it came down to it. Because I know what sacrifice is like. My family had to make sacrifices when my dad was in the military. When my dad was in the army, we had to make sacrifices. Sacrifices that, they would, that we didn't want to make, like moving around base to base, leaving schools, leaving friends, making all kinds of sacrifices every single day for 12 years. And let me tell you right now, if I could, 
serve in the military, I would. Gladly. Without question, I would. Because I know what it's like to deal with deployments. I know what it's like to be away from family. I know what that shit's like because I've dealt with that with my own dad. So to answer everyone's question, would I serve if I had the choice? Fuck the hell yes. I would gladly serve on any given day of the week. Just hand me the uniform, hand me the rifle, and show me where the enemy's at. I would gladly serve any day of the week. Gladly. Without question. Without fear. Because there's one misconception that people have about me. People think that I fear death. No, I don't fear death. I fear what I leave behind for my friends and my family. What kind of legacy am I leaving behind? What things am I leaving behind that are undone? He's on the team, man. When I die, I want to leave a legacy behind that, God willing, I have kids, you know? And if I do have kids, I want to leave behind a legacy that they can look back on and be like, that was my dad. He did that. He did that. I want to be able, when I'm on my deathbed, I want to be able to look back and be like, yo, I made a difference. I did something. I did something that was worth it. I made a change. I did something. I started something. I became part of something bigger than myself. When I'm on my deathbed and I'm knocking on death's door, I want to be able to look back at my whole life and be able to look at my kids and smile and say, I did something. I don't want to leave behind, you know, what if I did this? What if I did that? What if I this and that and the other? No, I don't want any what ifs left behind. I want to be able to look back at my kids and my legacy and be like, yo, there was no what ifs left behind. All this stuff that I'm leaving behind is for you guys. It's time for you to carry on my legacy. It's time for you to carry on where I left off. I want to leave behind a legacy of good. I want to leave behind a legacy of inspiration, of good shit, not negative. I want my kids to one day have kids and then their kids have kids. And a hundred years from now, I want my grandkids to be able to look back at my legacy and be like, yo, that was my grandpa that did that. My grandpa did that. He made that change. He was responsible for that legacy. He's the one that started all this. That's what I want for my future. I don't want some dead end bullshit like the trolls. Cause we all know they're going nowhere in life. They're not. They are going nowhere. We, us, this community. This community of people, we're going somewhere. These trolls, 
ain't going nowhere. Well, that being said, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you guys did, y'all already know what to do, man. And guys, let's turn this shit around, dude. Let's get the followers up there, man. We are almost there follower-wise, man. We need 70 someone followers, man. We're getting close. Mm, pardon me. We're getting close, guys. We're getting so close to hitting our goal, man. Let's hit that 72 follower mark. Let's make it fucking happen. Let's grow this community, man. Let's make that shit massive. Let's make a community of people that these trolls can't ignore. Let's make a community of people that can make a difference, man. Let's get those followers out there, man. With that being said, y'all, I'm about to take a break, hang out, maybe work on a little bit of artwork. I don't know. I'll think of something. But uh, with that being said, man, I love you guys. You guys are the absolute best. And I cannot thank you guys enough for being fucking badass. I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys later on that, man. So, uh, yeah. Be safe. Be easy. Keep on being you. Keep on being humble. Keep on being awesome, man. And fuck any haters, dude. With that being said, I love you guys. I'll catch y'all later, man. Peace.